You chill with people by longer on the internet there. They have more money than you. In real life, when you go to pie. You get me? I, I, the cars they have on the internet on they, Instagram. Yeah, they have the cars on Instagram in real life. I'm featured on Mutuk Bella Fifth So it's like, yeah, it's, it's bad, man. Hey family, a quick one. If you're watching this, it means you are enjoying this conversation and this exciting episode that I'm having with my guest. But something exciting, if you want to have me come to your private event or your corporate event, you can book me to be an MC or a speaker at your event by looking at the details on the screen or the details in the description box. Anyway, let's continue with the episode. You, you were still telling me gossip, yeah? Who's doing a butt lift? Uh, <laughs> what's that mean? <laughs> nah, they will know. They will know. They, they, will, they will see it soon. They will yeah, see it soon enough. Yeah, they will see. Uh, but that one, because the person did it on live, so. Really? Yeah, on a live. So the procedure, she did it on her live? Yeah, on her IG line. So they will see it. Uh, so who has to sign off this procedure? Because she's under 18. Surely their parents have to sign off. I don't know, man. Sometimes, Apple don't forget, sometimes these people, they do it in terms of like, I want to grow my business. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So you don't care about the sign of us. Oh, so the, 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 the person providing the service yes. doesn't care for those I don't think nitty do. gritties. I don't think it's do. like an influencer campaign, basically. Yes. Crazy, bro. Yes. Welcome to engineer your life. I know. I'm going to engineer my life. <laughs> I'm going to build a bridge or something. <laughs> but yeah. Are you easy, bro? I'm chill. Uh, Something when I discovered you, uh, I actually discovered you from someone's poster. I think you were club hosting. Do you club host? Yeah, I do. When do you want to be club hosting? I'm, I'm always fascinated by people who club host. What exactly does it entail? So, uh, what I do is I come with my people. Okay. After coming with my people. Uh, what are your people? I want you to detail it. Well, my people is, is it like friends. Is it friends. people who have money? What is uh, it? Friends. Mm -hmm. I don't like that bullying thing. Mm -hmm. It amazes me. Mm -hmm. I have my friends. And we're gonna get a rider. We're gonna get a payment. And speaking about this, 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 this club hosting thing, I, I think I'm. Uh, I don't like it how people like don't look it like down. They take it like a, as if it's a small thing. You get me? The fact that the whole week I was advertising your poster, mm -hmm. and I came to your club mm -hmm. just to host because I'm not an artist because I'm not a DJ. Sure. You are just gonna be like artists undermining. Yeah, yeah, you're undermining me, and you put me in the corner. Don't even give me my ride. Don't even give me my attention. I, uh, based off what we agreed on, I just mm -hmm. don't like how people. Because as you speak, there's someone who owes me, <laughs> so it's that guy one bore. But yeah, um, what you do, you bring people, sure, and you just bring a vibe, mm -hmm. and you promote the whole week or the whole whatever duration, and it's done. So you promote. It starts online, basically, yes. before the actual day yes. where you have to be at the club. Yes, and you garner your audience into to, to believing that going to this place is fun, it's exciting. Yes, uh, this event is cool. And then you get there, you still need that VIP treatment when you get there. Is that your well, expectation? I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily say. It. I don't see it as VIP. I see it as being comfortable. Okay. You get me? Yeah. So I just want to be comfortable. I want to have a place where I can sit down and just like cry out loud. Now I get sharp. No, I just want to be comfortable. Even if it's in general. Yeah, as long yeah. as you're comfortable, it's proper. Like you've got seats, you've got your drinks. And yeah. you easy. Yes. Like if you call for a rater, they actually come. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. That's yeah. VIP though. <laughs> yeah. But, but I don't, I don't see. Because VIP... In everyone's heads, like, yeah, those bowling. exclusive bowling. No, 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 no. Yeah. I see it as being comfortable. You're there on the day. Perhaps this is where the promoters are feeling like you're not doing anything. Because, for example, the DJ is playing music. People are dancing. Um, the bottle girls, they come with the sparkling lights. And then the people sitting there take out their phones and start recording it, right? Yeah. So an artist comes, they perform on stage. Perhaps... You guys as club hosts need to challenge yourself to show that you are bringing more value because what are you doing? Now you're standing. You almost seem like a liability because you just want, want, uh, uh, want. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. First of all, most of the time when you host at the club, 
most of the time, not every time, most of the time when you're hosting the club, it's a thing of like, they will hit you up. So let's start there. You hit me up. I was mm-hmm. chilling. Mm-hmm. And you ask me, what, <laughs> hey, what are your rates? And this is what I do. And uh, funny enough, unlike DJs, unlike other people who work based off like another good club, we do most of our work outside. Okay. Promoting okay. people who, who literally you literally meet someone or once when uh, when I saw the poster that you are coming here, I, I came. Said, I said I'm coming too. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. get me. So I did my work off the, the the clubbing thing. So you as a promoter, you should realize or oh this guy put value outside here. Sure. Then yeah, and and many of the people who are actually here it's because of this person's value. Exactly. And just the day that they here, it might look it might look like they're doing nothing, but it should be the day where it's finalizing the deal. Yeah. It's almost like the end of the journey. Yes. But the DJ when they get here, they're only about to start their work. Mm. Okay. Now I already did my work. Okay. Yes. When did you move to Joburg? Uh I think 2019. And how old were you? 2019. I was. Now it's 2025, right? 2024. 2024. <laughs> so, okay. I, I always check uh, my age with the year. Okay. So if it's 2024, that means I'm 25. Okay. So if it was 2019, that means I was 20. Both decision though, because you're leaving perhaps what I would say is maybe not a very comfortable home because many of us come from humble beginnings, but you're leaving what you know. And you're like, let me go to this Joburg. And why do you go to this Joburg? So for me, I wanted to... I came here to for the reason to study, bruh. Okay. Like I came here to, to study. Content creation was never in my mind. Mm-hmm. Never at all. And it's not like I was not really familiar with Josie. Because mm-hmm. my aunt stays in Midrand. Okay. So I used to come here. Visit every time. Yeah, now yeah. and then. Okay. So I was already kind of familiar with the environment or how things go. So I came here to study. Then when COVID hit, it forced everyone to take their phones and open cameras. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, it's, it's interesting you say that because there's a lesson to be learned in saying as much as you were based in Limpopo growing up your whole life, yeah, that being able to visit your aunt and leave a, a smaller place like Limpopo and come to a big uh, international global yeah. city such as Johannesburg made you realize that there is more out there. Yeah. So it activated those international dreams of Wuti. No, I need whenever I go the no man something feels different yeah. the air feels different yeah. so I, I need to come back here and build for myself permanently yes yeah but but well you said something but I disagree with that Limpopo is not a, a small maybe in terms of in terms of work opportunities yes, you can say that. yes definitely. maybe if you're saying in that sense but in terms yes. of it being big like it's very huge. yeah yeah I don't geographically it's massive yeah right yes but, but in an, in, in an international was, standing and opportunities no 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 yeah. It's not. Yeah. But yeah, man, um, I feel like Josie taught me a lot. Like, especially with the people, with the environment, how things run the side. And you realize, because in Limbobo, you can just be there, buy bread for seven days, and it feels like you bought bread for two days. You get Because things are very slow that side. So, but when you're here, once you start not doing something, you realize, oh, shit, actually, Things are moving. You find or the person you were chilling with yesterday bought a car. The person that you were with. <laughs> so that's uh, what you mean by things are moving. Uh, yeah. People are doing yeah, things, bruh. Yeah, yeah, Once yeah. you sit down and you open your Instagram, everyone is doing everything. You get me? So it puts pressure automatically. Not that you are competing with anyone. I hear you. It, like it puts it's pressure. a good pressure. Like, hey, what am what am I doing? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Need to I can't just be sleeping hey, all day, every day. Yeah, I need to operate. I need to operate. You get me? Yeah. So yeah. That is interesting because a lot of people look at it in the bad side and say opening Instagram is pressure, it's causing stress, and you saying there is a good side to it where we are born with hey, I need to work. Don't yeah. get up and work. Yeah. Well, with with such things, ne, it's a matter of how you take it, to be honest. Anything can look like a negative thing. You get me? Anything can look like a positive thing. It depends on how you see it. So be, me as a I I like seeing things like in a very positive way. Mm-hmm. So us being on a podcast right now, someone can look at it. Nah, I'll never be on a podcast. It's very, why should I talk with someone that I don't? What sure, what? Now sure. I feel like, you know what? I'm a podcaster and I know how important it is to invite someone and they really come. Yeah, you get yeah, me? Yeah, it's yeah. so fulfilling. You get me? And and it's nice. So I see things in a way of positive light. I always look at the positive side of things. And yeah, man. Funny, just to segue a bit, I don't want to lose our audience too much, is that people don't know how much trouble we go through to get people to actually come. Okay, no, no, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy, right? It's crazy. Some, someone once told us, 
I don't want to say a name because <laughs> the thing is already trending. Yeah. But someone was, we once invited this person and they said our podcast is childish. <laughs> He's like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But yeah, imagine you, you say, yo, Zile, I'm like, oh, 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 my manager says, yo, Olet, who's Olet? Owet, yeah, Owet. Yes. Yeah, you are Lungelo. Yes, yes. Yeah. Hello, Lungelo. Zile won't come. That, that, uh, that podcast is, maybe let me say, too childish. Yeah. That podcast is too childish. Hectic. Imagine. Because he could have easily said, I'm unavailable. <laughs> That's my chance. Literally, I'm unavailable or I'm not doing interviews at the moment. Yes. Easy. Easy. Or your interview does not align with me. Your your, your platform doesn't even, align with me. It, it does. We, it, bro. Bro, like, it doesn't matter. Just say, it's bona. I'm still in the popo lie. Okay, okay, we're avoiding the lie. I know, lie. <laughs> don't tell me. Because I don't, I don't, I don't. There's no, there's no need to be deceitful and hurtful. And yeah, like, don't be, don't be harsh, man. Undermining. But hey, man, it's that's how the cookie uh, the cookie come rolls. Smoky juicy, smoky. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes things come that way, but it's very difficult podcasting and sitting with someone that you never spoke with like this. Yeah, yeah. Not easy. It's not easy at all. Yeah. Would you say, um, growing up, you were underprivileged? Uh, I was okay. Okay. Uh, to be honest, I don't think I was underprivileged. I feel like I was okay in the sense of like where. Where I'm staying, uh -huh. I didn't need a lot. Number one, I walk to school. Uh -huh. I'm staying at my my, my granny's house. Uh -huh. I eat every day. I wear clothes. I was getting Christmas clothes. I, I don't remember a, a single day whereby I couldn't go to school because I didn't have money. I don't remember a single day whereby I couldn't pay for stuff at school. You get me? I'm not saying I had more. I just I'm just saying well, everything was 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 okay. If they wanted 500, my granny or my mom would just send it. Yeah. Yeah. Juxtapose that life, right? And mix it with look at life in Joburg and how kids are living in Joburg. Yeah. Do you still feel like you are still not underprivileged? Like like I said, it, uh, it's all the the environment. Okay. The environment was okay. Yeah. But that is uh, the, how I was living in terms of like money-wise, in terms of lifestyle-wise. If I came to Jersey, I was going to feel like I was underprivileged yeah but yeah. i really 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 appreciate and and i feel blessed of how i grew up of it, how you grew it up it taught me yeah. a lot yeah. and and yeah. and taught me to like be humble in life especially after coming seeing <clears throat> seeing where you can drive a car at 16 and it's yours <laughs> so when i when i came to the side so yeah you've got beef with 16 year olds and you're born ah <laughs> <laughs> What does it do to one? Uh, you, you spoke about the humility that it creates. What does it do to one to live a normal life? Because a lot of people are now aspiring to live a fast life, car at 16, BBL at 17, <laughs> married at 18, divorced at 21. You know, what does it do to one to live a normal life where you walk to school? Uh, you're not in a private school. You just walk to school. Um, you guys get dirty on the road when you're walking. Yeah. Uh, you buy mango, pick it from the tree, you eat it. Um, what does it do to one to live a life like that? So, to be honest, eh, and I'm going to be very, very honest, it's all about the environment. So, if you, you can't live this fast life in, in, in where, where I come from, in Dendro. Sure. That's, that's the village. No one will care. No one, it won't even fit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You get me? So, the environment is the one that motivates you to like live a fast life, live sure. what, 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 what. But sometimes your environment will force you to make sure, bruh. Make sure that you have a job. Make sure that you have at least three um, uh, streams of income. Of income, yeah. You get me? It will, it's all about your environment. Now, in Josie, if you don't have a place to stay, you must, you, you're must going to be stranded. Unlike when you're in the poor you don't have a place to stay, stay with your parents. Mm -hmm. Simple. <laughs> you're chilled. Yeah. You get me? So, it's all about the environment. Uh, it, uh, sometimes it's very vital to, 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 to not live a fast life, especially... Like if you're in Limpopo, where I come, I'm talking about where I come from. People must not say things, but yeah, where I come from, it doesn't matter. You're living fast, slow, it doesn't matter. But yeah, you will be automatically fast. Or, hey, I must be doing something with my life. What do you think as I'm a 2000, you guys are dominating the space? Because the generation sh shortly before you guys, my age group, for example, I'm 29. Yeah. They, they're sort of falling off in the industry. Their numbers are not doing what your guys' numbers are doing. 
I'm one person who will be bold with you and say it with a straight face and not feel jealous or feel any sort of way because our journeys are different. What do you think you guys as 2000s are doing differently, especially on the internet digital space that is resonating so much with the audience? <laughs> well, <laughs> when you say that, so so with us, let me tell you, we 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 are always on our phones. Okay, you get me. And I, I'm not saying people, cause I'm 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 25. I'm turning 25 this year. I'm not a 2000. So you just missed it. <laughs> yeah, I just missed it. Oh, it missed me. Yes. So I feel like it's because of how tapped in we are. Okay. So the more tapped in I am, the more social time I get. I realize what the internet wants. Like we are more fast. Uh -huh. we, we learn fast. Yeah. So I know what's trending. Now, if I ask you what's trending, well, even me, I don't know. But like I know what's trending, especially mm -hmm. on TikTok, on Instagram, what's going on. Mm -hmm. So those things I'm always tapped in and I know what to give my audience fast. So sure. before you can even. And we have, it's a sense of like we have more time. And at the end of the day, let's be honest, 18 to 24 people are the most people who are on online so, yeah online yeah. 13 to let me say 13 to 18 uh, yeah. 13 to 24 sure. most of those people age group are online so someone who's th uh, 15 is more likely to relate with me than you mm -hmm. you get me so mm -hmm. that's why we'll get more people is because of the people who are on social media as a person who's sort of in the middle though you're saying you, you you're 25 this year so you in the middle between the 18 to 24 and us later yeah. later years are you not scared with what it's becoming though on the internet that young girls, especially even young guys, are being exposed to an internet that is detrimental to them? Um, once again, we have people buying cars at 16 and making it seem normal. That's not a normal life. Let's be honest. People, that's not normal. Pe and people, people being scammy, uh, scammed. Pe people really. being scammed. Yeah. Um, people having fake businesses online at 18. Fake so lifestyles. Fake lifestyles. So businessmen. Uh, you are giving your girlfriend a million rand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it's a lot happening online. There are guys who were parading that they they they, they violated another lady. Young guys. Oh yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a gang. Yeah. And all of that is happening in this age group, layer thirteen to twenty four. Is it not scaring you that that is also being perpetuated by that very same internet? I mean, let's be real, ne? With everything. As my, every time something is so good, okay, there's a lot of bad. Okay, so these things by hand in hand. If now you are you are in a very 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 positive relationship, like with your with someone with your partner, and you post online, if you guys have gang people who love you guys, there's also gang people who don't like don't you guys. like you guys. Yeah. So that's unfortunately that's how the cookie crumbles. Like I, I like I said, or born the internet has so much impact, very positive impact, ne? and it also has so much negative impact. It depends on you or which one do you take because all of them are there. Because now you mentioned all the negative stuff mm -hmm. about the internet. But there's so many good. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. my point. Or we can't run away there's, from There's that. so many lives that have been changed by the internet positively. There are families that are eating every day that have been taken out of poverty. People have become DJs because they started off as influencers and yes. now they're superstars. Some know? of us, we are, we are, we are, we are. Podcasters. Yeah, yes. we are getting campaigns. Yeah, you get yeah, me? yeah. Through the internet. We, we are living through the internet. You mm, get me? True. So, so it's a thing of like, it's, it, it has a positive impact on my life. Yeah. But yeah. if you check in the other end, you find where someone is suffering or regularly at acidity, what, 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 So Zilla, how do I choose to, to, to pick the positive only when the negative also is so overwhelming on the internet? So it's, it, it all depends on what do you want. Yeah. So once you know what you want, you will pick the right things. Mm, mm. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, now I can be like, Lina, I want to live a fake life. It's easy, that thing. Man. You chill with people by longer on the internet. They, are, they have more money than you. In real life, when you go to a pie. You get me? I, I, the cars they have on the internet or yeah, Instagram. They, yeah, they have the cars on Instagram. In real life, I'm featuring a lot of people. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's bad, man. <laughs> but it all depends on what you want to take out of the... What about the child who's 14 years old? They don't have the agency to choose yet, but they're consuming the very same bad and good coming from the internet. Do you guys not feel responsible that you are shoving this fakeness to these people? Um, like men Kuluma, you may not be doing it when you speak to your yeah, peers yeah, yeah, yeah. who are doing you. the fake things. Are you not saying... But bro, Lendoyen Zayo is really destroying society and the people who follow you. You have 1 million followers. You have 700,000 subscribers. 
why do you keep on doing this? Is this Range Rover really yours? You know, you know it's not. You park it and go collect it again on the weekend when you're going to the club because you need to go hire it at the dealership again. Like, is it really a life that we should be portraying? Um, I won't lie, eh? Unfortunately, I'll have to speak on myself because Lina, like you, you're asking me, eh? Lina, get confused, dude. Why are you doing this? Why are people doing this? Why are people deceiving other people? Because now I don't see it like that. I don't see, or why should I do this? The main reason I'm not doing it because I feel like it's not a good thing and I don't feel like, I feel like you can still grow and be big and be loved and make money and still live it. Uh, uh, Without with being it. deceitful. Yeah. Sure. But so that's the longer game. P perhaps maybe people just want the, 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 quickest, the quickest route to accessing that, that particular life. Yes. So it's all, it all depends on the person. Yeah. It's not about, hey, what, what, what. At the end of the day, man, everyone wants, when, when the curtain closed, how much, what did I, what, mm -hmm. like, is my plate full now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or what, what, man, man, a 40 year old people, the, if we are being honest, if yeah. we are being really, really honest, yeah. it doesn't matter. Everybody like, just cares about what check am yes. I making? Yes. <laughs> so once you don't care about people, you're going to, do anything to, to keep on elevating the check yeah do you remember the most painful thing you've gone through in your life <laughs> what was it yeah i don't know i think it's okay i know i know i know but i was so young i think it's losing my dad okay yeah that was i i don't think and i was in grade two i don't think i've cried like that in my life so you're around seven or eight, somewhere there, yeah, six, so, seven, yeah. eight, somewhere there. Yeah, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and when you look back at that moment when you find out that your dad is gone, what what still resonates in in your brain? Like, have how have you moved on? Do you still feel like you've got a life that is not full because your dad is not around? And are there things that you wish you could have done with him? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, no, everyone in this room wants to like do things. With and, both their parents. Yeah, and parents can see them sure. while they succeed. You know, it's always that thing of like, I wonder what my mom would say. I wonder what my dad, dad would say. say yeah. I think they they would, they would be proud. So it's a thing of like like that. It's not a thing of, I wanted to do anything with him. It's just a thing of like, I would have liked it to see to see him see me succeed. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. all. Um, uh, But is it not a thing where now that you're older, it, it feels like it feels painful all over again because you were young. Yeah. Right, and you cried, but now as an adult, when you're realizing what's the actual situation, yeah. it's like, damn, I don't have a dad. Yeah. Do you, do you have you ever had a moment where you like you almost felt like you are re-crying for that loss? No, man. You know, you know, as a guy, ne? Like me personally, I, like I just feel like you know what, everything happens for a reason. I hope or it's for a reason, and it's a thing of like you know, if 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 I'm still alive, that means I still have a purpose. Sure. So I was like, you know what? Let me still push. But of course, the pain will never go. That pain will never be go because it can be replaced. It's not yeah, a thing of like, yeah. you can just put super glue and put yeah, uh, things yeah. together. So yeah, sometimes I do feel it, but it's a thing of like, life goes on. Does it make you yearn to be a good dad one day? Yeah, of course, man. Yeah. Of course. Like one, I, th I remember when I was in high school, I was like, one thing for sure, I want to make sure that like, my kids have fun with me. Mm. I want to be that parent who long like strict. corona. You get me? I'm chilling. They must have a good positive relationship with me because that's something I wanted when I was a kid. So yeah. I want to give it to someone else. But the parents who have corona with the kids are the reason sixteen year olds are having PPLs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the rules bring back strict parenting. Nah, you, know? you know, you know. Funny. <laughs> Let me let me be honest, yeah. bro. It's not about being strict or not. If you want to be a bad person, you're gonna be a bad person, bro. Like now in December, now I was drinking at home. Mm -hmm. My brother smokes in the yard. Mm -hmm. Like we drink at home. I remember this one time, I I, I was so drunk, man. Yeah. Because when I got there, I was like, no, I miss my green today. Like mm -hmm. I was I was sleeping in the same room with my green. So now. I'm drunk and I was opening Quran. We were praying for people. They were like, oh, it's time to pray. We went to pray. I went with my Quran. Ne? Oh, I, I, the Quran, I left it in the, in the dining room because we were praying. Now we prayed, we prayed, we prayed, we prayed. Are you sure you left it? No, no, I left it in the, in <laughs> okay. the dining room. Ne? So now we were done. I'm like, guys, 
let's go play again. When we got there, I was I was getting so drunk. And now this corona, I opened it and I drank only a bit. I take the corona, I'm like, let me go sleep. My granny is not in the room. I drank one sip. I put it under... Like my granny said, uh, like mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. You see the mm-hmm. yellow. Oh, cause yeah. <laughs> the, the yellow outfit, <laughs> the yellow church attire. Yes. So it's hanged, ne? Like on the next to the wardrobe, I put the beer <laughs> below the water. Bro, it's half. It's not even half. It's still flu, uh, full. In the morning when I wake up, my granny's like, "What? King in the I just avoided her and left. I was like, hey, I told my little brother to go fetch it because she wanted to look at me in, 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 uh, in, into the eyes when I, left, I, I got the, the corona. But still, I was drinking at home. I didn't do anything. I didn't do BBL. I didn't. A, <laughs> you get me? It's a matter of if you want to be a bad person, you're going to be a bad person. Regardless of whether it's strictness or not. Like right. your grandmother is ZCC, yeah. which is a high moral standing. Yes. Yeah. But I was drinking at home. I was, my brother was smoking. No one, bro, we didn't have a meeting. I don't remember. I don't even recall my granny telling me, warning me, hey, you must stop. No, no, no. But if I wanted to be someone who's going to be so like, Unreliable. I was gonna do that mm-hmm. and hide. Gunner. Oh, now my parents are not strict. I don't remember one day without sleeping at home unless I, I told them, or no, I'm going to my friend's place. I will come back home. I will sleep at home, drunk or not drunk. So it's my choice. It's your choice. Yes. You come across to me um, with content of yours that I've consumed and how you speak about your current partner, romantic partner. You come across to me as a person who's reached a point. But young, by the way, because you're still 24, turning 25, that you've reached a point where you just want to love one person, be committed to that one person, and build. Um, what made you reach this point so soon? Because so many people who are your peers still believe in how is life? It's, oh, so, so, so let me be honest, ne? People don't understand. I, I, it's not, what a, guys, we all, people must not lie to you. We all go through that phase. You know what? So I've, I've went through that. The collecting body. Yeah, like that thing of like, okay, now, but I realize oh, there's nothing there. Oof. There's a, and the biggest downfall of a man is women. It makes you more empty. Yes. You think you're collecting? Bodies, yeah. but Kanti, you are decreasing your soul Kanti bit is, by bit. Kanti is, is, is chowing you bit by bit. Yeah. So I realized oh, there's no life in that. And me, I'm a very spiritual person. You get me? So I realized oh, if I want to be pure and I want to make sure that I build something, I need only one person. Yeah. Especially if they are not also running around. Mm-hmm, you get me? Mm-hmm. So there's nothing you can take out, out, outside uh, from running around. You get me? And I realized oh, the only way up is to have one person. And, mm-hmm. and man, to be honest, it's it's not great. Man. It's very dangerous, especially in the society that we are in right now. Some people, you think you think they do care about you, but they just want to see you down. Mm-hmm. And they are, not, they are not afraid to give you bombs to see you down. So the dangerous part is you think you are having fun with all these girls, but many of them have an al- alternative agenda. Exactly. To see you down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to speak badly about you, to yeah. do a live and say, Zillet did this to me. Yes. Yes, and and, and I realize oh, there's nothing there. So the, 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 the reasoning that I'm getting is that for your career, it's protecting yourself to have one person. Yeah. Protecting yourself from these people who might want to get close to you for ulterior motives when I w- you're thinking yes. you're collecting bodies and you're having fun. There's also a spiritual element where you realize what every time I'm with a new person, I feel like the, the drain, the I'm drain. decreasing, yes. I'm draining. Yes. Like part of me is getting lost at every time. Yes. And also just to have that level of commitment and teach yourself that discipline. Yes. You know? Yeah. Uh, teach yourself to be a, a better man. Yes. Um, but do you think it's sustainable, though, especially in the industry you're in, because you your star is shining brighter and brighter as the time as time goes on? Yeah. Is it sustainable to have one person who's going to stick beside you? I mean, like I said, or you you can't control the other person. Sure. It's sustainable on my side. Yes, now I can be committed. But if the other person when you go there, half, 
Yeah. There's yes. nothing I can do. And 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 on and on your end, you say I can remain committed. I'll play my part. Yes. If they don't want to play their part, yes. I'll try again with you the next one. Yeah, it's the thing or you can't take the river to the donkey. Yeah. The donkey. What was that? <laughs> Yeah, that's saying whatever they say. Try again. Uh, you can take the donkey to the river. Yeah, and but, make it drink. Yeah, and make it drink. Yeah. And what, what? I don't know, man. What? Astropes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that thing. But yeah, it doesn't matter what I want. It's uh, If the person wants to do a certain thing, like I said, it doesn't matter how what the internet produces. It, what matters is what you want to consume. Do you believe in marriage? Yes. And do you think you're in a relationship with somebody who could be your wife one day? Is there a part where but we we we, don't, we say I can't answer this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lie. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know, man. Okay, and I'm still young. You're still young. Yeah. So that that's fair. I'm still young. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, but why do you believe in marriage as a concept? Uh, have you seen a successful man who's not married? Who power? Like like a huge huge you one a, a superstar of a the world. superstar of yeah. the world not married just one but have you seen it have you went to a house whereby there's a woman in this family and have you went to a house whereby there's no woman in this family sure have you have you went to those houses yeah you'll see. As much, <laughs> like some men are very neat and clean and everything sure but a woman's touch has this other element effect like you can tell or there's a woman in mm-hmm. there. You can tell. And even how things are ran, you know. But when you go inside the, the one you are inside, you are not man. Like, the same way a man has a clue. Ne? Even a woman has a clue. Where there's a mother, especially. There's a yes. motherly element. Yes. Where there's a good mother who's a disciplined woman who runs the house Respectful. with respect, with good morals. Yes. Um, there's love in this house. There is warmth. There is good food that's eaten in this house. Yeah. You can feel that home, being and, a home. And the same way you, where there's a man, you can feel the leadership, you can feel the guidance, you can feel the protection, yeah, all those yeah. type of things. So I feel like you can be at the top. And and like for me, that's that's my 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 thing. I've never, every man that I've followed or I've seen, they always have a wife. And I know, and I've seen it while, while I'm dating a bit or no, man. Because I can tell, man, I stay alone, eh? Once my aunt comes to my place for like three, four weeks, or not four weeks, she's never done that. Mm-hmm. Three, yeah, four days. Yes, yeah. Weeks, yes, yeah. I am. Miss Alina and I get together. Three, four days. <laughs> three, four days, ne? People, when they come, they will be like, hey. It's so oh, clean. What's that? Oh, what, what's going on? Come yeah. king. Let's smell the sound. Yes. The candles were lit. Yeah. Uh, diffused. Yes. Come on. Both And where there's a guy only, you can tell. So, yeah, man. But I had BU, BU Mtembu, adulting, access Vuyani on adulting yeah. on that same couch. Um, He's divorced. And I asked him what are the lessons from divorce and if he'd get, ever get married again. Yeah. And he said he's not sure anymore. He thought he would get married again. He said he's not sure anymore because he believes that in family rather than marriage. So he's saying mm. successful men are successful men because they have successful families. And there are many successful people whom he, is look, he looks up to that have successful families, right? Where perhaps they try to get married, they divorced with a partner, but they didn't leave the family unit. So for oh. example, the Bill and Melinda Gates are divorced. Uh. Um, a, a Jeff Bezos and his wife are divorced. Because romantically, they admitted that we don't work out compatibly as a, as romantic partners, but we've built an empire as a family. And the family element we will keep. Our kids will still know that they have a mom and dad who's present. They'll get the family part. The only thing they won't get is that we are romantic partners. Yeah. So my question again, do you still believe marriage is the only vehicle to being a very successful man? So, oh no, no. To be very successful, you just need man, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know I, I know we are talking about him, but oh, by the way, he was pity. And let me tell you why. So we are we let's not forget our culture, man. Our culture, you can't just take someone and stay with them. For three years. For three years. <laughs> you guys will fight. <laughs> you guys will fight for days. Mm. And people are doing it. And I'm telling people now, or your ancestors need to know. It's job and culture to do that. Yeah, Saving yeah. on rent. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Muna, your ancestors need to know. 
uh, Aksadula, I'm not staying alone anymore. This is the person I'm staying with now. Can you please protect us for when we are staying here? Then she goes to my family. Then bam, bam, bam. I'm not saying marriage isn't. Mm -hmm. I'm saying introduction is very important. Sure. And even when we are done, it's shy. It's a thing of like, I can't. You can't be with someone's daughter mm -hmm. for for those years and not marry them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and have a family with them and or learn to play life. You guys need to do proper stuff because the ancestor will feel like, oh, you stole our. Person. Sure, you sure, stole our sure. daughter. There's an affirmation element when you marry someone, yeah, and the family too, yeah, and the union of the families. It affirms this union. It affirms this bond. Yes, it brings dignity to it. Yes, and it brings protection. It's yeah, like both of your ancestors and and uh, both of how what you guys believe in at home yeah. together. Yeah, bind the avenue to one yellow protector in your family. You can't. Be, I don't feel like I can be with someone for seven years at my home, and at home they don't know. Yeah, yeah. And they, she's never been introduced. It don't work. So you're the guy, year one, you engaged. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Girls can pretend, chief. Ne? For a good year, ne? Bro, I've, I've, I remember I once took a girl to my place from... Uh, I once took her from, to my place. Mm. Yeah. And this girl said, like, ah, no, I don't know you, I don't know you. In the morning when we wake up, when we woke up, she was saying my intro. <laughs> <laughs> and now when I want to search on YouTube to play songs, I'm like, oh my God. So you didn't know me. Because you probably introduced yourself with your ID name. Yes. And now you're not know, saying so search with Zilewiz. Yeah. Oh, you know? Zilewiz. Where did she get it yes. from? She doesn't know you. Yeah, so that's, that's like... Or girls can pretend. Yeah. And people yeah. don't know. When a girls can just say, oh, I want the picture. Hantu mutu, I want picture. I want a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, a year is too short. Yeah, a year is too short. What's what's a decent amount of time before you can propose? What do you think is fair? It's fair. Not for you, just is fair. I think two, man. Two, ne? Minimum of two. Yeah, two. Two, you're yes. able to go through yeah, things together. Yeah, you can't together. pretend for two years. <laughs> huh? You can't pretend for two years. I think two. But but in, in the life you are living, two is too young because people can still shy shy you. So a young five. <laughs> <laughs> but don't stay together. Just know each other. Right? Yeah. Even stay. in those five years, don't ever stay together. Yeah, don't stay together. You can visit, but staying together. It's like, oh, now we did a, a, a mini family. You guys won't last. And someone is watching this, oh, Rana, me and my girl, my boyfriend, or oh, me and my girlfriend are lasting. Okay. They've been staying together for a year. They're lasting. Oh, oh five years. Like, someone is watching right now. Yeah. And be like, ah, but this is not true. But I'm saying this based off me, Abzana. Nah, I, I, I don't want that. I don't think I can stay with someone for a year and go never something. Yeah, yeah. So you've introduced already? It's, it's a year now. Yeah, but I will. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> Astro pens. <laughs> Astro pens is crazy, but uh, no, 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 not now. <laughs> this industry is filled with, rather, people see the good side of what you do, right? They see the campaigns, they're like, yo, they see the Instagram followers, they see the TikTok followers, the YouTube fol um, subscribers. People are like, oh, he's making money off AdSense, this, this, that, you're on spreading humors. And they see, oh, but oh, Zilla and them, these type of people are living nice. They're living nice and soft, right? But they don't see the no's you get. They don't see the emails you send, the auditions you do, where it's rejection after rejection after rejection. Yeah. Um, where are you right now with dealing with that rejection in the industry? Because there is a lot of rejection that people don't see. Uh, no, uh, me, I'm not going to I know what's meant for me is going to land. Mm. I don't even have to worry. I just know, no. Even, bro, I'm telling you, even if you overprice, if it's yours, you're going to get it. Shoo. It doesn't matter. So you don't even believe there's something called overpricing because it meant it, it, meant it wasn't yours. Yeah, it, meant it was not yours. Because if it was overpriced, they'll be like, oh, no, uh, Lungelo, can we please negotiate on this? Yeah, then they'll yeah, take you. Yeah. Then that, you know, because it was yours. It says, and the price that you guys agree on, that was the price that was put for you sure. already. Yeah. So for me, it's a thing of like, ah, if I'm rejected, bro, it's 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 life. I don't know how many times when I was coming up, uh, how many times I, I DM Coke on Instagram, emailed Coke on Instagram. And now I'm working with them. It's a thing of like... Now they want you. Yeah, now I'm working with them. You get me? And it's a thing of like, sometimes 
you're not ready for that. Maybe in that environment that you're in, you're not ready for the open opportunity that you're asking for. Maybe in the long run. So that's how I see things. Like I said, and I told you in the beginning, what I see things in a very positive light. I don't know. That's I think that's my superpower. There's a lot of YouTubers who don't have the same level of influence and greatness that they had perhaps in 2021, 2022. Um, I won't give any names because it's unfair, but I'm sure you can think of a few yeah. where they've, for the lack of a better word, fallen off, oh. right? And that's because when they were peaking, they 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 wanted to do everything at once, yeah. Instead of focusing and building and building, what's your comment as a YouTuber, as a creator, in staying the course? Because as you're saying, you used to DM Coca Cola back then, and now three, four years later. They, you are working with them because you stayed the course. What's the what's the importance of just being consistent? So uh, I, I want to correct you there in terms of doing everything because I kind of do it. If if you ask me what, well, if you check my channel, mm -hmm. you'll see what I do everything. So the thing is, in doing everything, don't leave your personality outside. Sure. Okay. People should still know this is Zile. Even if I become a pastor, I must be a funny pastor. Okay. You get me? Yeah. So yeah, my, my, yeah. my element still... It's, the authenticity remains. Yeah. So one thing I know is that like, it's evolution, man. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So you evolve with time. Mm -hmm. The things that used to impress people back then don't impress people now. Mm -hmm. And that's a skill. That's something that people should should uh, adjust to and learn. Or, oh shit, I know I got inside yeah, the YouTube industry with pranks. Mm -hmm. Now pranks are not a thing. What can I do and what? how can I apply myself? Uh, there's podcasting now. Mm -hmm. How can I apply my, myself in my, my personality in podcasting? There's live streaming now. How can I apply myself in live streaming and being myself? Then that's how you do these things. You evolve with time, with time, with time. And a very, 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 very important part of pe those people leaving YouTube or I don't think they fell off, by the way. Bro, YouTube, you can shoot five videos, ne? and you get a certain money or amount from AdSense. Maybe let's say I'm going to, like 30K, for example. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying five videos is 30K. People mm -hmm. must not say that. And you go to TikTok, you have a huge influence or you have a, a reasonable influence, mm -hmm. not even a huge one, a reasonable influence. Ne? You get a campaign with video, get 35,000, mm -hmm. one 30 second video. Yeah. So what, what does that say to you? You put 10 times the work or, uh, yeah, 20 times the work. Editing the YouTube video, uh, they eat the videos, an hour long. <laughs> yes, to get 30K. Yeah, and yeah. on TikTok, you do the 30 second video, you get in 30K. So it's the ability to evolve again, because if you were a YouTuber who was doing big numbers in 2022, and perhaps you're no longer doing those numbers anymore, um, why haven't you involved to TikTok? Yes. Why haven't you involved to Instagram Reels? Yes. Um, why aren't you exploring what YouTube demands now, for example, you were saying people are podcasting. Yeah. Why aren't you in that space? You know, yes. I hear you. So, so that's the thing, man. Th there must be a level of being able to evolve with yeah. the platform. You can't say, hey, YouTube. I don't know it doesn't work like that. You did that. Um, and I, I don't want us to dwell on this for long, but I think it's, I, I think it's important you did that reality show, a YouTube din, yeah. where um, brilliant concept, by the way. Um, congrats to you guys with yeah. with Tato and Baby and 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 everybody else who was there. But it 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 didn't end in a savory manner, and I don't want to speak about people who were there, but I just want to know what lessons did you learn about collaboration and how it ended. And what should we take moving forward as fellow digital creators about how we collaborate? Um, what I learned is that, like, bro, as content creators, we are all stars where we come from. <laughs> <laughs> like, you are a superstar. Yeah. When you are around your friends. Yeah. And they only 500 followers. Everyone, they only 1,000. I hear you. Every time you value about to but you another picture. Yeah. Now you are in a room. Where everybody is a star. Everyone is a star. So you, as a digital creator, you need to have the ability to relax mm -hmm. and learn from other people, especially in your space. That's what I did the whole show. Why did it become so nasty at the end? I don't know, because now, most of the time, now I was sleeping, <laughs> I was drinking alcohol, I was having fun. And 
everything that happened, I didn't even see anything. Yeah. I didn't even... You now, watch it on TV like everything uh, else. No, <laughs> hey, so I realized, hey man, hunting, these things were happening under my nose. Yeah. But I didn't see anything. So, yeah, man. I'm, I'm not the right person to ask in terms of that. Sure, sure. I, I just needed to understand the lesson towards collaboration because there seems to be a constant battle with collaboration as creators. I don't know if it's a country thing or it's a worldwide thing. You can correct me. Like but a country thing. You think it's a country thing, ne? There's yeah. consistent bickering, fighting, fighting online for creators. I don't know if they think the internet has a bandwidth where you are internet, so we're all fighting for that same spot. I don't know if they don't think the internet is big enough. Ah, uh, the, the the cake is big enough, uh, is big for the for for everyone. Just mm. that you need to be smart, man. Mm. Mm. And there's no need for us to like fight or anything like that. You get me? Uh, and we are different creators. Creators, we are a lot of creators have anxiety, ne? And mm. I've been. I'm telling you, they have that thing of like, especially when they're in a space of full of creators if I found a lot if I overwhelm me most of the time that's what I had now nah, I've been in a lot of spaces to a point where I don't give a shit like like doesn't matter to me now I'm gonna be there and mind my own business because I, what, one one thing I realized at the beginning is that what I did is that thing of like yo uh I have I have followers ne? and this person has more followers if I do something that the game barras let me sit let me chill. Let me act cool too. Lena and I did the same thing. So what I did, cause we now we went to Kenya, we went to Cape Town, some sure. of us. We went to a lot of uh, uh, YouTube events. Mm -hmm. Those are a lot of TikTok events, a lot of corporate events where by those influencers. Mm -hmm. And one thing I, I I realized that everyone wants to bottle themselves, be inside the box, inside the box. I don't do that. Yeah. Hence, I'm good with collaborations because I realize well, I can just be myself. I don't overthink things. And most people do, are not like, they don't prefer collabs. They prefer their own space doing things their own way. And I respect that. And people have even said, I have a friend who's big in this space who's told me that the reason she's avoided collaborations um, is because every time she will collaborate with good intentions, it'll end up biting her in the back. Mm. Like... <laughs> After the collaboration, people go and speak about her. It's like she made a mistake. I know that person, but okay. <laughs> you don't have to. I know. Because I know. <laughs> he told me that too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it, perhaps we have a collaboration issue then. Uh, no, no, no. Because no, no, no. I, I, I think I did like close to 30 now, mm. or 40 or 50. And I don't know, a lot of collabs, mm. but nothing has ever came back to mm. Mm. Because at the end of the day, no one forces me to say anything. Yeah, I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm going to do what I want to do. There's a lot of things that we do in the background whereby I'm like, I'm not doing this. I'm not saying this. I'm not answering this. And you guys don't see people yeah. about ignorant sometimes. Yeah, or yeah. I say something and think, ah, you don't be that. Can't mm, mm. yay, when it lands. It's a, it's a matata rara. So. What do you think comedy is? Epicenter of the personality and the character that you've built. Epicenter, king on what? Epicenter, epilepsy. Well, welcome to engineer your life. Ah, yeah, yeah. Epicenter. Let me open my dictionary. Siri, epicenter, dad. What is it? What does that mean? Why is comedy the focal, the focus of your content? Oh, okay. Why? Why is all your content always understring by comedy? Yeah, bro, I'm a funny guy. Okay, like I'm. A, I'm you can't change who you are. Hey, I like I'm. I'm naturally fine. Sometimes I surprise myself. Mm. You get me, and it's a thing of like. Sometimes it's a thing of, it's within me. You get me. It's it's like God sent, you know. So there's nothing that I like. I said I made an example, or even if I become a pastor, I'm mm. gonna be a funny. A funny guy. pastor. So everywhere I go, comedy will always and will follow me. You get me? So even if you are in a serious, you will hear uh, this one mm -hmm. is trolling. And mm -hmm. sometimes I'm just saying things. Do you not think, though, you spoke about anxiety um, a few minutes ago. Do you not think it's in a response that as a creative, you struggle with anxiety and being overwhelmed, that you always try and bring lightness to the room and funniness to situations, even situations that are difficult? I, I want to know. Are you again? No, no, no. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's... It's that deep. I, I, I don't think it's... 
You know, what you're saying basically you're saying or maybe get hide through it, give my way of coping, <laughs> the coping mechanism. Like, no, 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 it's not. Now nah, I'm just being fine. I feel like even when, because it happened at some point, ne, if I know I'm going through things, I'm still going to be funny. Ne? And there's some point where I'm not going through anything. But and I'm you're still, still funny. So, yeah. yeah. Um, we're nearing the end of our conversation, but I, I, we can't end it without me speaking about um, this part of your life where you are now a fully fledged podcaster that has to release an episode every single week. Yeah. Um, you've got a team around you now. Yeah. And there's a to the producer who you respond to and she says, what's this? You have to answer and yeah. be accountable. Um, there are targets that you guys put towards yourselves. Yeah. Um, how is that? How has it been different now that you've had to professionalize how you operate and you're not just a sole creator, not undermining what you've been doing before, yeah. but now that there's so many people whom your your content depends on, if you are not there and if you don't show up. So, 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 funny enough, man, I've done that before, just that people don't see. Mm -hmm. I've done pro I've done producing, like, shooting my content, né? I'll have a video guy, a producer, a guy with the lights, a sound guy. All those things are not due to me. Mm -hmm. I've done a high production things whereby, mm -hmm. and of course it's my content, I'm the producer. The only difference with the podcast now is that I'm not the producer. Okay. Everything else, the sound guy is there, the camera guy is there. I'll tell them more, you put something this, put this effect this, can you please... Uh, the lighting was like the sound guy will tell them or no oh well the sound guy is good you know i i don't know a lot about sound because mm -hmm. there's nothing you can fix or or do with sound ne? but i will say things even the producer will tell her, can we speak about this can we do this can we take this light so i'm used to those type of things already i've done them on my side and how do you feel about your contribution on the platform do you feel like damn i'm good at this <laughs> Uh, I feel like I'm just out there to spread my weight and yeah. I, I'm happy how people are receiving it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but you guys have said that, going back to what you said earlier, there are celebrities who won't come to your platform because they deem you childish. Is that something you're intentionally going to try and change in 2024 or screw them? Because it means they don't get screw, it. But don't say screw them, man. Don't say screw them. I've met people who are like, nah. Ah, nah, I didn't, I didn't like this. And you see comments whereby people are on the 10th or 17th episode. People are saying, at first I didn't understand this, but sure. now I'm, I'm a huge fan. Mm -hmm. So give them time. That's all you do. You give people time. Hey, this is all I do. We need to be honest. We will be honest and give you time. One day you are going to have a favorite there. One day you're going to binge watch it. One day you're going to wake up at, and make sure that you prepare everything and at the club, you're going to sit down and watch Spreading Human. Yeah. Only time. So it will grow on you. That's how I see things. As you said, the consistency. Yes. You Once again, this is something you're going to keep consistent yes. at. Yes. Now, all we need to do is just to do our work and also improve the certain things that need to be improved. But we can't say, hey, let's improve so that we can save how many people view and how many people hate. And even though you hate, you still view. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Viewing out of hate. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to ask you something. So did you think I was going to pull through to this? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm not going to play risk, <laughs> Do you guys think she she will come? Do you guys think uh, the producer will be like, no, let me check. I don't know how many people said no to coming. So to a point out, it became a thing of like, what are you doing now? Oh, t you mean, did we think you would come here? Say it to them. Now that you have experience of a podcast and you know how many people say no to coming to podcasts. Yes. Um, ask, if you'd asked me this question a year ago, yeah. I would have been nervous. Yeah. Uh, I think once you, as you're saying, the consistency, yeah. the brand we've built with the podcast. Yeah. This podcast is very clean. Yeah. This podcast is very growth centered. Yeah. So we know that when a person comes to our podcast can be a person who hates podcast, yeah. but they will make an exception. Yeah. So in out of 10 guests, seven say yes. We're at that point now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But a year ago, out of 10, three say yes. Yeah. Do you know, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. So I knew that the probabilities are higher now because of how we've positioned the podcast and we've been deliberate about how to position it. So so with us, it's, 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 it's different. You find or you bring a guest, ne? and the person will be shaking because yeah. our thing is crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. you can have a snippet on TikTok the whole week. And now whole week. we shoot on Sunday. Ne? Yeah. If you're going to be direct on Monday, 
it's, it's the whole week. The only way to cancel that dragginess is for if something trends or we just wait for Sunday to shoot another episode. So, so if we're going through things like I remember we once said something very misleading and or yellow very snap information. Yeah, you guys don't know diseases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember that? You remember, bro, that thing they took us a whole week. TikTok, Twitter, Facebook. Yes, because that's the only <laughs> the only time you can say, guys, sorry, guys. <laughs> it's Sunday about, again. It's Sunday. The whole week. So that's why like, we have people who are shaking when they get there. We have people who are like very nervous. But uh, you know me, I'm going to say three more, five jokes. Yeah. Yeah. You've got one call to make left and God has come to you in a dream and said this is the last call you've ever, you'll have ever you ever make in your life. Yeah. And in that call, you have to pick one person and you only have to speak for one minute. What are you saying to them and who are you picking? Ah, uh, it's obvious, this one. I'm calling my mom. Mm-hmm. What are you saying to her? I love you. That's all. That's all. And take care. If I'm fine, and I love you and take care. What's the one thing in life you believe in for sure? And you're saying this thing I believe in absolutely. It's the one thing I believe in for sure. I believe in that like God do does exist. And I feel like without prayer, you can't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. That's one thing I, I, I center myself on. Mm-hmm. I feel like, because I, I grew up in a Christian orientated family and I, I've seen what prayer has done. So yeah, that's one thing for sure. I wonder if you can take it. I know with prayer and especially culture, when I say culture, you yeah, so I'm, um, yeah, I believe in spirituality, basically. My brother, thank you uh, for coming to the show. Thank you. Uh, it's been great. It's been awesome. And I hope your star keeps on shining. Mm. As I said, this this is a growth platform. And I hope that one day when somebody comes back to this conversation, when because I truly believe you're going to be international, and they look at how far you've come, yeah. they will say, that boy was centered ever since he, 2023. Yeah. He had his head screwed on in the right place. And 2024. Ew, four. <laughs> I said five. I'm, I'm just getting you back. But it was before I find it. Let me do this. Yeah. Of course. I see that shit. I went, I went, I went. Introducing the epitome of luxury living. Galu Luxury Villas and Suites, your private sanctuary of opulence and elegance. Nestled amongst the lush, sun-kissed landscapes of Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, this Galu Luxury Villa is a paradise of tranquility, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the neighborhood. Step into a world of refined luxury where every detail has been meticulously crafted to create an atmosphere of sophistication and comfort. This villa is kept within a gated and secure property for your peace of mind. The Kalu Villa is available for both short-term and long-term stays, making it the ideal location for your next vacation or special event. This villa boasts spacious living areas and floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the interior with natural light, making you feel at one with the surrounding beauty paired with multiple terraces, an outdoor lounge and a dining area. Live the dream, make memories and indulge in the life you deserve. Contact us today to book your stay or to learn more about this exquisite property. Your oasis of opulence awaits.